When you have thousands of outstanding wines to choose from, it's hard to narrow down to the top 20, but we rose to the challenge and tasted our way to the top picks. Now we're revealing the next seven wines, numbers 10 through four. At number 10, we have the Lodato Pinot Grigio. This Italian treat has bright fruit notes of apple and pear with a nice balanced acidity. This is a bottle that you could bring to a special occasion. This is a perfect 10. Coming in at number nine, we have Ranieri in Vetro. This is a super Tuscan complex wine that has rated 90 points since 2010. With its dark fruits and aromas of cherry and bay leaves, it transports you to a small cantina in Tuscany. Number eight, Alema Rosé. It's a fun, fresh, fruity rosé with some notes of strawberry and floral on the finish. Any day is a good day for rosé. Number seven, Ferre Lambert. This drinks very easily. It's very structured and has smooth tannins. It's a Bordeaux blend. You get to taste several different grapes. You really need to try this. Six, Marie de Moi Champagne. This is a really good value. It's also Grand Cru, which means it's made from top-tier grapes. If you're looking for a bottle to pop open for a celebration, look no further. This is the perfect bottle. We've reached the top five. All you Chardonnay lovers are gonna love this one. At number five, we have the Crimson Ranch Chardonnay. This is made by a family you might know, the Mondavi family. This California Chardonnay is the perfect balance of oak and fruit, a bit of creamy vanilla on the finish. This is a standout bottle on the top 20 list. I'm very happy to introduce number four on our list, 1858 Pinot Noir. It is just a stunning California Pinot. Big, bold, and fruit forward. It's an absolute must try. 